Welcome. Today I'm doing a quick review on the Wirecast Go app that helps you live stream to YouTube live events extremely easy. And also, I'm going to share a really nice little ninja tip to make your live streaming videos just that little bit more professional. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today I am reviewing a really awesome little app called Wirecast Go. It is my favorite little app at the moment for live streaming through a mobile device or a mobile, well, iPhone device. It's only an iPhone at the moment, but they are planning to have it on Android too. Now, uh, I've been mucking around with live streaming for a long time now, and when this app came around, uh, just around about December 2015, I was just blown, blown away by how simple it was to use. It's still a little bit limited, but I think give them time because they will probably add a bunch more features. It's going to make it really, really awesome. So without further ado, let me flick over to my bigger screen where I'm going to show you the actual app and then show you how to use it and also that little ninja tip to help you make it even more awesome. So flicking over to my screen here, there it is. So actually, let me just go to my home screen first. So, so that's my home screen right there. Um, and you'll see there there's the Wirecast Go app right there in the bottom right, the yellow one. Um, it's free to download, but you can upgrade it to give you extra features. I think it's about $5 here in Australia. It might be less in America. Uh, when you upgrade it, it, uh, it opens up a few more features, which is quite nice. So I really recommend you do that. So I'm going to tap on that and hopefully get the right aspect ratio. Yeah, there we go. Hello. Okay, so this is the Wirecap, uh, Wirecast app, Go app in practice. Uh, and what's cool about this, actually, you'll probably notice that there's a delay now with my audio and and visual image because I'm actually sharing my screen through the app, which is, you know, it's there's going to be a delay. So don't pay too much attention to that. For all intents and purposes, I could even change the, the camera here. So if I tap on the top right, it changes the camera to the, the other camera uh, on the, you know, the normal camera. So this is the FaceTime camera that I'm switching over to now. You can also see some extra... Uh, extra features here on the on the right. Um, the the most simple one to use is this bottom one, and this is where you if you tap on that, it allows you to then select which uh, which video you want to stream live to on YouTube. So it might first ask you to sign in first and connect up with your YouTube channel, and once you've got that, it'll automatically figure out you know all the live streams that you set up um, beforehand. As you can see there, this this top one at the moment. Is actually the one that I'm running right now. I'm not actually running through the through the Wirecast app. Um, I'm running it through my desktop Wirecast version, which is a total different kettle of fish. But if I wanted to make that go live now, I basically just tap on it and it'll go live instantly. The one just below that, the live Q and I ask me anything one, is what I've got set up on my channel for my normal beta uh, live streaming. Uh, area inside YouTube. So that's where you can just go straight live. You don't have to set anything up. Uh, it's pretty cool. It just goes live immediately. I don't like that one as much because you can't plan it ahead of time. You can't schedule it ahead of time and, and let people know ahead of time. So it's not so not as good. This third option here, if you tap on that, this is where you can actually create a brand new uh, live event straight from your Wirecast app. You, all you have to do is type in the title, the description, um, and then here you can even set whether it's public, private, or unlisted. And I was going to make this one unlisted for now. Uh, and then you can type stuff in here, for example. Let's give it a name and type in a description. And now if I go ahead and hit the Start button, uh, it'll automatically start streaming right to YouTube. So I'm not going to hit Start now, um, but, you know, it'll, it'll start streaming. So a couple of things to keep in mind here uh, when you do this when you go live streaming. So make sure you're on a good internet connection, especially that you have a good upload speed. Uh, the better your upload speed in general, uh, the better it's gonna serve you. So that's really important. Um, make sure you got good lighting uh, and you've, that you've got good sound as well. And I might share with you some of my other equipment that I use to make it look more professional. Uh, but those are some basic things for helping you uh, make uh, for a really nice stream using the Wirecast app. Let me show you some of the other features which I think is very useful as well for taking things to the next level. So if we flick back to the app here, I'm just going to cancel this out. And so you've got to tap on the screen again to bring up those, those three little circles there. Uh, the next one up here, this is pretty cool. When you tap that, it allows you to have different, um, 
different thing, uh, different, you can stream different things. So at the moment, and this is my, my only drawback with this app at the moment, is that you can only have one camera from your phone. So you can't pull in a camera from another phone or from your computer or, or that sort of thing. And you can only share other images on your camera, on your, on your phone. And so you can't pull in other videos, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but tomorrow I'm going to show you another app that can do that. That's really cool. But it's got other drawbacks. So flicking back to the main screen here, if I, for example, tap this one for the rainbow, it'll now stream that particular um, image live to my YouTube channel. So it's pretty cool. So I can you know do a bunch of different things. Here's one, another one that I up, that I just grabbed from my um, from my camera. So if I, if I go back here. If I select one of the black ones, for example, there's nothing there. So obviously you want to set this up beforehand. But if I tap on it now, I think this is where you do it. Now you do it here, up here. So this is where you can do it. So you get three layers of things that you can add. So I normally start with the bottom layer and see there's now images here. There's an image of my young family. Let's say there's, let's try this image here. Um, so boom, I just add it in. And now I can zoom in if I want to, just edit a bit. Once I'm happy, I can select the green tick mark. And, and that's ready to go now. So that's now a different shot that I've just set up there. So um, there's that shot. There's my, there's my camera shot. And, and I can even add things like my logo. So, so if, I, if I want to, for example, add my logo, I can use this next layer up. Uh, let's say I'm not sure if I've got my logo in here. <laughs> Lots of images here. Uh, let's let's use this one. This one looks cool. So I can edit that. I can pinch and zoom out and add it to where I want. Say that's my logo. I can put it there. Hit the little check mark, and I'm ready to go. So how cool is that? So obviously you can do other things as well, and you can have up to three layers um, for this, which you can get quite quite creative on, which is pretty awesome. So so that's pretty cool uh, in and of itself. So you can see here you don't have to go through too much trouble to set up um, a live stream using this Wirecast Go app and still and make it fairly professional. Uh, so uh, another cool thing about this app, before I share my Ninja tip, is that it also shows you the comments that people are making while you're streaming live. So I'm not streaming at the moment, so you can't see it, but normally over, is my finger, sorry, it's a bit of a delay, over there. So on the left-hand side, there's a little arrow that shows up it points to the right and if you flick it it'll open up the comments and you'll be able to watch the comments live as you're streaming through your app so you can actually read the, the comments i've actually found that a little bit annoying uh, especially if there's people who are troublesome you can't really moderate the comments which is very annoying so what i've done in the past is i would just hook up my i would just have my uh, ipad uh, and then view the comments through my iPad while streaming through my phone. And that way you have a lot more control over what you can do with uh, the comments. Um, so, so that's really cool. So that's basically um, some, some really cool things there. There's um, another little ninja trip, a tri trick, which I'm not sure it's useful yet, but if you, if you go to the main screen and you, for example, swipe down with two fingers at the same time, it brings up these extra little controls. Now, I don't really know what they all mean, so I actually recommend that you just kind of leave them as is. But my guess is that those controls will probably become more advanced as the app matures as well, and you'll be able to maybe change your bit rate and things like that. At the moment, it's pretty basic, so I'd probably just leave it alone uh, if I were you. So if I swipe down again with two fingers, it disappears. Uh, and now for my little ninja trick. So sometimes, there's little things you can do to your videos that make them look a lot better. Uh, for example, you can have good lighting. In this room here, I have some good lighting. Uh, you can have good sound, and you can also make sure that your camera is on a tripod or something that makes it look good. So let me quickly show you some of those things. So what I have here is um, the microphone that I use. This is a Boya microphone. And uh, let me just show you what it looks like. Boya, I'm not sure if it's gonna focus for us. Um, this app, this one is about between 15 and 100 bucks to get a little lapel mic and it just plugs straight into your phone with this nicely long, really long cable uh, like that. It just plugs straight into your phone. So it's all cabled up. It's not wireless, uh, but it's about, I think, four meters long. So heaps of space. The other thing that I use sometimes is a tripod. 
and I've just bought this one here, little selfie stick. What's cool about this one is that if you look at the bottom there, you can actually screw in a little tripod so that it can stand on your desk and then you can have it, you know, as a little tripod standing on your desk if you don't want to have it hold it in your hand while you're moving around. That's a cool little tip. The other thing is I always make sure that my lighting is really good uh, and that can make a huge difference, especially if you're streaming on an iPhone or a, a mobile phone because the cameras on them, let's face it, are just not as good. Now, for the, the big ninja trick. So what I often do with my little videos is I often add a, I'm not sure if you can see it on this video even today, but I add a, a vignette on, on my main view for where my camera is. And I wonder if you'll be able to see it over here on, on this one. So at the moment, there's no vignette on this particular view. But if I now change it to this one here, you might be able to, it's very subtle. You'll see in the corners, it's a little bit darker in the little corners. But if I select that one now, you'll see how there's a little bit of a vignette, uh, which gives the video a bit of depth and just makes it look just that little bit extra nice. So make sure you got good lighting for this. And so all that, all this is, is an image that I found on, I actually found it on the internet, but make sure that whatever image you find, uh, you have the copyright to. Um, so maybe get one made for you uh, if you're worried about that sort of thing. But it's basically a, a transparent PNG image uh, that has sort of darkened, darkened, it's a little bit darkened on the, on the corners. And so what you do is you just add that to your, um, one of your shots. So for example, say, so this one here doesn't quite, doesn't have the vignette yet. So let me add it as another layer. So the moment, the bottom layer is the actual video camera. And what I'll do is I'll make the next layer, the second layer. I think it's one of these ones. I don't know where it is now. Maybe it's not on here. Ah, oh, there it is. Um, I think it was this one. So if I select that now, so there it is, there's the vignette. And all I gotta do now is just zoom in a bit because that's quite a small one. And I think we are ready to go. So now that view, if I hit the little tick mark, has got a little vignette on it as well, and it just makes it just that little bit more professional. Anyway, that's it for my review. Uh, just to quickly summarize, really awesome app. It's free to download. You gotta pay a few bucks to upgrade it. I really recommend you do upgrade it. Uh, it's called Wirecast Go in the Apple Store. Uh, and um, some of the great things is it's so easy. It works really well. Some drawbacks is that you can't pull in video just yet. Uh, but you can see the comments coming up when you're running the live event. So really, really cool. Let me know what you think about this app and whether you're going to use it um, inside the comments either below this video or to your right, the right. And I'd uh, love to hear from you. I'm going to finish this call now and then open up for Q&A for my live callers. And I look forward to seeing you inside my next video. Chat to you soon. Oh, wait, there's one more thing. Uh, later on this week, I'm planning, I'm planning a big live event where I'm going to reveal my latest iteration of my live video streaming video marketing strategy. So it's going to be a much more involved call. Uh, I'll be promoting that out as well. So make sure you join us. It'll be on Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. Okay, so 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. I'll promote that out in a wider sense as well or just stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to get an update on that when that goes live. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to do Q&A soon now for my live callers, and I'll talk to you inside my next video. Bye-bye.